Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and welcome back to Yosemite Valley today with the alligator habitat. A lot of people have waited for that and um, also um, yeah there's a couple of things that I need to talk about. You see that the time lapse might be a little bit broken today. Um, I basically had a lot of crashes and that was the only way to restore those and I really hope that they're somewhat watchable. Um, I just tried to find the right ones and uh, to, to be implemented so you can see at least a little bit of what has changed um, but yeah just in general um, I gotta say that uh, this habitat changed a lot and I did a lot I lost the first basic um, stuff like the first um time lapse simply due to the fact that I recorded in the wrong aspect ratio and that is uh, over two hours of work gone because you ba you can't see that I still have the footage but it's like tiny tiny you can't even watch that on a I don't know 10 years old phone anyhow today's um, video will have a lot of a longer real-time part therefore so to make up for that problem it's gonna be around the six minute mark so if you don't want to watch this just jump to the six minute mark and you can just straight watch the good stuff um, but yeah so I changed a couple of viewing areas I changed the entire feel of the habitat because I had the feeling that the um, previously the saltwater crocodile habitat was really yeah a sorrow in my eye I don't know it's just it didn't really look good it didn't really fit into Yosemite as a whole and I really always kind of wanted to change that one even though we didn't get any alligators I would have changed the saltwater crocodile habitat anyways because I just couldn't stand it anymore. I want to maintain the viewing gallery though I like how that is all integrated into the area so I just kept it the way it is. Um, but I changed a lot of other stuff here um, to make up for that, you know. And now it really is integrated in this uh, in a way that I think it's good enough and it really looks good. And uh, yeah, you can just see that. So I really hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse if the you know uh, footage is not as horrible as I see it over here. Um, and then uh, yeah, just enjoy the real time part. It's a lot better. It's a lot smoother, <laughs> and we talk a lot more about the habitat. Hope you guys enjoy that one. See you after the cut.
Hey everyone and welcome to the real time part. Now we're standing here in front of the aquarium, but when we turn around, there is the brand new alligator area. And yes, it changed a lot um, since it was the saltwater crocodile habitat. You can see I actually changed quite a bit, but let's talk about the changes a bit more in the overview. Let's quickly do a tour, you know. Um, on the left hand side, you can see brand new uh, education area. I did a couple of things off screen because I had some crashes and I just, you know, I just wanted to finish it off then. Um, so this is the new education area look you can see all the alligators just chilling in the water oh god love that um and you basically sit down here you can see the whole area you can see them use the river and um then the educator can just basically talk you through a couple of things so our area over here really becomes a lot more of the aquatic education center so to say um there's one more thing i want to show you on this side and this is the new chill area for our friends the alligators this is a brand new spot i included that wasn't previously existing so i put this here because that is just where you can see them hopefully if you're lucky enough uh, can see them up close at this point there's no one over here um, but there's like a little um, see bedding area uh, hidden down here so they might go here there's also like a little scent marker so they definitely should go there um, this is where the pier is for the sea lions and if we go all the way around here there's a little village to grab some food if you fancy doing so this is where the grizzly area is love the grizzly area uh, still one of my favorite additions in, in general in terms of the uh, overall story and down here this is where the Cayman cave is finally by the way um, it works again you know they can finally dive from left to right again you can see them chilling on the left and uh, right side I remember how much crazy problems we had but the new diving change really changed it dramatically so this this space now is um, by far enough and you can finally use it the way you should and then here to the left hand side there's another little viewing area if you go around that little tree that is placed a bit wrong um, you can go over here and you have another beautiful look into the alligator space you can see it a bit more from the back side so here's a little mud bath that they can use if they want to and if you go over here you get a wonderful view and I should make that a little bit lower or put like a little Oh yeah, that makes sense. A little step down here, so you can see that a bit better. Um, you can see this area, and look, there's like a little crashed boat, and you can see the alligator chilling in the water from above, and uh, in here you can also see some stuff. There's like a crashed car, like as a little bit of theming. Nothing too crazy, you know, just a couple of things, and yeah, this is this is basically what you can see from the guest perspectives, and I think this is the perfect timing to basically fly up and show you the habitat from above, because that really is the selling point of it look this is the habitat and i couldn't be more happy with it because that is just insanely um, precisely what I wanted to do with this habitat. It is nothing like the saltwater crocodile habitat. I think it integrates so much better into Yosemite now. Remember how it was like this very weird open space here with that bit of a crazy big bottom of water. There was really not that much to talk about. It was really not that nice to look at and it just really didn't embed so nicely into Yosemite, especially when you were standing on that bridge over here. This, this entire area looked so wrong and now I think it integrates so much better with the overall flow of Yosemite. I really do love the way how that now works together. I put a lot more clutter down here, you know, like a lot more foliage. Um, I made sure that everything and just kind of blocks uh, nicely. I still don't know what to do with this wall down here. I maybe made that a little bit more wooden, um, but you know, this is just really a lot of an improvement, I guess. And if we fly a bit more up, you can really see I made this a lot more into a river. What I did though is I changed this a little bit um, later. Unfortunately, I don't have the time lapse anymore, but I made this so that this water over here is a bit more shallow because they like to, um, to sleep in water as well. So the game also allows that. And this is why I I made this like a little pond over here because alligators seem to do that and um, I just read that that alligators do some ponds and um, by just burrowing these these ponds and so I thought you know what I'm just gonna put this here and um, yeah so this is this is what we did and I guess this is really exactly what I wanted to create now let's fly up again and show you the whole habitat while I talk you through some things that will happen now after this episode I will hand this to the guest builder but there are a couple of things I will do with this project let me quickly um tell you through so first of all i will um 
fix some things that are not you know done yet but i'm quickly going to show you so first things first uh, your feedback on the prairie dog habitat is heard so i'm going to put some fencing over here and because mr kane had a lot of um, you know a lot of good points but one stood out a lot and we have to make that waterproof so what i will do i will not only put like some fencing around here i will also put something down here as like a little bit of a water I don't know what system, but you know, that we can make sure that this is not going to drown um, to make sure that these animals would survive to make it a bit more realistic. Now, flying over to the cougar habitat, there will be some things happening as well. Um, you can see the Siberian tiger area is still like a little bit of a blank spot. So this will re uh, receive its diving area for the Siberian tiger. So basically that this viewing down here for the guests is becoming relevant and a deep swim dive area. So this is why I open up every thing so that I can climb up and go for a little dive this will be something interesting to build um, and I will do something with the pathway and I was planning to actually do a different um, kind of you know uh, separation between those two habitats and what I will do I will try to connect this viewing thing over here with a staircase that goes down here goes all the way over here to this side and connect to the upper area of the big cat house. I think this way it would connect this whole area a lot. Now, these things are a little more simple. The more complicated thing will be, and this is our focus for the next month uh, until the next update. As I said, I will try to make this thing finished at the end of the next update. And so this is the plan. So at this point in time, Yosemite has one big issue and that is it has no guidance at all it's an organically grown park and there is no guidance so to make a tour on this thing is like the biggest <laughs> undergoing ever because i have no idea how to do a, a tour it like there are so many so many ways to do it it is kind of nice for exploring but it's you know in terms of guest flow it's not really the best thing ever so what i will do i will actually investigate a lot in the flow of this uh, entire zoo i will also give you guys an overview maybe you can come up with some solutions i will post that on my gilded channel and also on you know the community channel here on the youtube channel if you want to do that there's a lot of channels in there right um so yeah this is basically what we do now Let's go back to our alligator habitat as this is the point of today's video, like the main point at least. Um, one thing, first of all, big thanks to every one of you. I really couldn't be more happy. Oh, by the way, oh my God, I'm God, I'm just so easily distracted. But look at that, this is the new, this is the new alligator view I was talking about. Oh, that looks, that looks really good. Anyhow, um, big thanks to all of you. You smashed it. You finally um, <laughs> unlocked the next emote slot by becoming member on the channel. And also we are only two more away from the next emote to be put on the channel. So for all of you who are members on the channel, you can use these emotes and you get a couple of sneak peeks on my community wall for members only that's the only thing i do as i always said i want to make it as much of a nice thing for you to have but not a mandatory so no videos will be posted ahead of time or so you know because i i don't feel like this is the right way to do um anyhow the other thing is we are nearly hitting 59,000 subscribers so if you guys want to help me out even more to get to these 60,000, it would be so cool if you guys could subscribe if you haven't already i know there are a lot of people you know watching me on a regular basis but don't sub because you know several reasons I actually can understand but if you if you have a warm heart <laughs> and you like alligators as much as I do or like this game and the upcoming Jurassic World games and so on you know um, make sure to sub to this channel that would mean a lot to me because it's gonna help me to reach that next milestone that would be really cool and I would be very very thankful if you do so if not that's totally fine still um, I wish you all a very very nice day um, stay safe everyone we're going to talk about uh, planet zoo and stuff in the next one Stay safe, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and goodbye.